Manitoba Pioneer Camp was established in 1943 in the Lake of the Woods area for children, both boys and girls, ages 8 through 16. The program concentrates on training children in basic skills so that they can enjoy the wilderness with great safety. This includes things like swimming and canoeing and campcraft, along with a great variety of other activities which we're going to share with you later on during the program. I have with me today uh, two people who represent a long history of involvement with Pioneer Camp. First of all, Hilde Leverton, who is our Girls Camp Director. And Hilde, would you like to tell us a little bit about what you hope for your campers this summer? Okay, good. For this summer, my hopes would be similar to other summers in that I'd really like our campers to learn all these skills that would help them to go on canoe trips and be able to enjoy the out of doors and enjoy God's creation and be safe at the same time while they're out in the wilderness. And I'd like them to be able to develop relationships with one another and with staff. It seems over the years uh, one of the most meaningful things for campers as they look back are these relationships that they've established at camp. As well, I'd like them to uh, be able to enjoy the creation around them and the Creator as well, the God who loves them. Can you tell us a story about someone who's been significantly influenced by camp? I could tell you lots, <laughs> but I'll just tell you one. Okay. I was thinking of uh, a girl who started camping with me when she was about nine and after seven or eight years as a camper became a counselor in training and then uh, because she did such a good job was a junior counselor the following year and last year uh, she thought she'd arrived she was a counselor for the first time and uh, I was so impressed just with how she developed herself as a camper she was one of these you know naturals everything she did was she just looked like she belonged there and she did well and then uh, as a counselor last year she was able to share this with the campers in, in a very meaningful way. I was impressed by her care of the kids in her cabin, especially, and also by the way she was able to teach the skills to them. And two letters that arrived in our office this year sort of uh, relate to this one particular camper. Uh, one was from her mother, after she had been accepted as a counselor, saying, uh, how much she appreciated the fact that her daughter could be a counselor having learned all of these things as a camper. And then another letter was from the mother of one of her campers from last year saying how impressed she was with the care of that counselor. Thanks, Hildy. Mm -hmm. I want to uh, introduce Brian Hill who uh, has grown up at Pioneer Camp, I suppose. We could say that, Brian. And uh, as a camper and then as a staff member, and now he uh, serves us as camp business manager. Brian, tell us a little bit about staff and how you see the importance of staff members. Well, I think in any camp situation, and Pioneer is no different here, that no matter what facilities and no matter what program you have, the key element is the people who are running that. And these are the staff, which come to any camp. And I think we've been very fortunate over the past years in Pioneer and the kind of quality of people we've attracted as staff and trained as staff uh, at the camp. The amazing thing is, is that they come basically as volunteers. Mm -hmm. And there is the incentive for them to come, I guess, is mixed. But there's some basic ingredients that we look for in our staff. And one of those is that a desire to serve, because that's what it's all about. Certainly a love for children, that is absolutely primary. And a desire to share their life and their faith with the kids that they're with constantly for that time period. So they're important people to us. Yes. Absolutely. Brian, you yourself have been involved, as I said earlier, for a long time. Tell me just in a few words what that involvement has meant to you. Well, when you say involved, I guess basically that means from when I was a camper, when I was quite young. 
And what that has meant, and I've seen it at various levels, from camper now to a staff position in management, what it has meant is I, I have seen in people a quality of life that has been attractive to me and, in fact, had become, it became a model for me. And I would hope that that would be the case for the campers we have. Great. We're going to share with you in pictures some of the many exciting things that happen at Pioneer and uh, hope that by this means we can give you a clearer picture of what the program looks like and some of the things we do there. So we're going to switch now to the slides. In this picture that you see now, we have an aerial shot of the camp as it represents that whole area of the western end of Lake of the Woods with the road coming down to Shoal Lake Reserve and then McKinnon Island on which the main camp is found. If you were a bird and you were flying north <laughs> toward Pioneer Camp, this is what you would see. You'll see the front bay there with the camp and the waterfront, the cabin line over to the right. And uh, we think this is a marvelous location for a camp because it invo involves being able to see the center part of the waterfront area at all times from various points of view in the camp. Another close-up showing the waterfront, particularly the swimming dock and the canoeing area so that we can teach swimming from that square dock area and uh, that way protect campers against uh, being out of observation all the time. Another shot of the waterfront looking now at this time at the water level. One of the important aspects of our program is canoeing and here is a shot which illustrates our canoeing area. This picture illustrates the canoeing area and then behind it the dining hall which is of course a very important place. Another shot of the dining hall and inside where up to 150 people eat three times a day and sometimes more often than that if they can get away with it. <laughs> the lodge which is the focus for our craft program and is also the place in which many indoor activities of all kinds happen during the day and also in the evening. Another shot taken inside, you can see the fireplace at the far end and uh, this is one of our very important places for all sorts of activities. Many camper parents want to know where do my children sleep and here is an illustration of one of the 17 camper cabins which are spaced around the shoreline. Since we're on an island, it involves us in transportation from the mainland to the site. And this is the Pioneer 3, a 50-foot steel boat, which transports our campers and all of our groceries uh, regularly to the main site. And here's the reason that we're camping, the campers. They've arrived, and here they are up on the sun deck. Canoeing is one of our main activities and here's a class in action. Someone practicing their soloing. And here's a demonstration of some senior level skills. And this has to be an early morning practice for the seniors who will later on this day try this really hard test. And these kids have just been out on a canoe trip and are just returning back to us. If you're going to run a graded and developed canoeing program in which we send children out on canoe trips, one of the important aspects we must remember is the water safety and swimming instruction. And that we offer at Pioneer in a full uh, Red Cross program from pre-beginners to the senior level and as well uh, the Royal Life Saving Program for uh, those who have advanced beyond. 
The instruction occurs in the areas you've seen before, in the square area, by people who are qualified with WSI or equi equivalent levels uh, to teach children. And that happens on a daily basis. But the water is not only for instruction, uh, it's also for a lot of fun. And here you can see one of the things we do, and this is a, a water polo game. As well, another activity that occurs on the lake, and which we have just recently developed in the last two or three years at camp, is a sailing program. Here you can see some of the small boats, training boats we have, uh, the sabots. And here you can see somebody out in the lake, uh, hopefully enjoying themselves. And the final shot here of our sailing program is our larger boat, uh, Lightning. Archery is one of our other activities. This is one of the instructors. And here's a class of campers during girls camp. In order to be able to enjoy these trips in the wilderness, you ha certainly have to learn how to cook and how to build fires. The Resource Center. At camp, one of our hopes is that the children who come to us will begin, if they haven't already, to appreciate the natural surroundings they're in. So often we remain within the city and we don't realize there is another world beyond the concrete. And so we want to have children come out and enjoy what is around them. We help them by interpreting what they are seeing, by helping them to use observation. So often that's what's needed to open up their eyes. And so through staff, through equipment and through our resource center, we want to show the children God's creation. I hope these slides will give you a taste of the kind of things we want to have children experience and to enjoy. One of the important skills which children enjoy in the quieter moments of the camp day is crafts of all sorts. And these can be very creative indeed and are very freeing for children who sometimes find an organized program just a wee bit too much pressure for them. Another fun activity is volleyball. We have uh, probably the worst volleyball court in North America. <laughs> but that doesn't matter because we have an awful lot of fun, especially when it rains and the volleyball court turns to mud. And then we can invent some other games as well. Gord, I'd just like to add one thing there is that volleyball court is also used for an infamous game at Pioneer, which is called Marshmallow Baseball. Thank you. I thought you'd mention that. <laughs> Another important activity is music. And this is the informal kind of music where people just sit around and have fun together. Campfires are a regular part of our program at various times of the day and particularly in the evening. And there are of course other kinds of activities that can be invented at the moment. This banner shows us the beginning of our visitors day at girls camp. This is the first of a series of special events that happen at camp. And of course every camp has to have its mouse. Here we see visitors up on the sun deck watching what's happening out on the waterfront. Later on we have lunch with our visitors. And then they, they along with us, watch some of the uh, waterfront activities. This is part of this regatta that we had for our visitors, just demonstrating different water skills. Skits are always an interesting time at camp. This one took place at girls' camp. Boys' camp sure do funny things. I think somebody got wet during this one. And one of their, one of their more serious times, a banquet. Canoe trips is a very important part of our program and we aim to train campers, both boys and girls, to really enjoy moving away from the main site 
by canoe. One of the skills involves being able to move out of one lake system into another, and this involves learning how to portage a canoe. And here we see campers struggling with their burdens. If you've carried too much stuff, you soon learn to stop and eat it all. Some of our trips involve traveling on large lakes, and some involve traveling on river systems in the north, particularly in the Barrens River area. One of the beauties of being away from other population is that we can really see the wilderness around us. An important skill when you travel whitewater is learning how to shoot rapids. And here you see our campers negotiating otter rapids in Saskatchewan. This involves special training and special equipment so that we can do this with safety. This is a shot taken on the Barrens River on an absolutely flat, calm day. This is one of our staff trips. Kids aren't always busy at Pioneer. Sometimes there's time just for relaxation and meditation and thoughtfulness. One of the things that we do as a group is have uh, Bible studies for a half hour each day. Early in the morning is a good time just to have some time on your own uh, meditating and praying. Sunday mornings, as an entire camp, we have a, a chapel service together in the lodge, and many of the campers think this is a really helpful time for them. They love to sing. Here we have a couple of shots with which to end the slideshow, showing the lake taken from the shoreline the sunset over the lake, some canoe sailing. The sunset and some of our staff who work full time year round, both with Pioneer Camp and with our sponsoring organization, InterVarsity Christian Fellowship. And here's a whole bunch of campers taken last summer. And of course, the real point of all of this activity and all of this equipment is the camper herself and the good time that she can have at camp learning with us something of the marvels of God's creation. Well, I hope you enjoyed those slides. We want to just make sure that everyone understands how uh, you can get involved in Pioneer Camp this summer. For instance, we want you to know that we take children who are ages 8 through 16 in both girls camps and boys camps. And now is the time to register. In fact, the way registrations are going right now, we're going to be full before too long. How do you register? Well, we'd like to, we'd like to switch you to the card which gives you some of that uh, detailed information. So let's have a look at that. Period 1 Girls Camp begins July 3rd and runs to July 16th. Period 2 starts July 16th and runs until July 30th. Boys Camp this year begins July 31st and runs to August 14th. And Period 2 begins August 14th and goes until August 28th. You can contact Manitoba Pioneer Camp by writing Manitoba Pioneer Camp 217-267 Edmonton Street, Winnipeg, Manitoba, R3C1S2. Or you can phone the camp at 943-0717. Or you can contact the camp directly by writing Manitoba Pioneer Camp, Kijik Post Office, Kenora, Ontario, P0X, 1E0, or you can phone area code 807-733-2449.